Go. Welcome everybody to the annual Keystone Awards luncheon for the Clay County EDC. It's been obviously a challenging year and we weren't unable to have a, 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 an annual luncheon like we usually do. So we've decided to do it through Zoom and uh, hope that uh, everything works out well today. It's been a challenging year, as you know, uh, with, with COVID rampant throughout our country and, and businesses closing down and and, and, and schools closing and, and uh, all the challenges that we faced this year. Uh, during this year, you'll be glad to know that kind of EDC did not close for a single day. We were here to help businesses throughout the COVID pandemic and still are. We helped uh, give uh, over a million dollars in, 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 in CARES Act funding to small businesses in Clay County. We were the the entity that helped evaluate those applications to make sure that businesses in need had those funds available to them. We had a uh, happy hour for Feed Northland kids. We were notified that they were having some, um, they were struggling with the schools closing and providing enough food for, for children. And, and with the help of Ford Motor Company, we raised $50,000 in a happy hour. Ford Motor Company gave $15,000 and then had another $15,000 million, uh, 15, um, thousand, 15, thousand um, match, and we raised uh, a total of $50,000 in about an hour and a half for Feed Northland Kids. It was a tremendous uh, happy hour. We did it by Zoom, we did it socially distanced, we did it safely, and uh, that's something that we we're very proud of at the Clay County EDC, that even in this time of, of stress and, 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 and uh, really difficult times for so many people that Clay County EDC was able to step up and help children. During this time, we also had a new ex uh, executive director hired for the Clay County EDC. I think most of you know who he is. He's David Slater. He is a person that's been involved with Clay County politics and Clay County economic development for, for 40 years. He's never had a job in Clay County. He's always had to go south of the river. And one of the things that he wanted to do is was help make this a community where, where he could, where there would be great jobs available for everyone here in Clay County, and and he is an example of that. He he's moved uh, 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 his job up here, and uh, and uh, we're very happy to have him. He is president of the Missouri Mayor's Caucus. He has uh, been recognized by the Mark Board as a, a leader in our community, and uh, is president of the Clay County Mayor's Group. He's been instrumental in all aspects of Clay County economic development, and we couldn't be more excited than to have him as our executive director. He has hit the ground running, and those of you that know him know that he starts about 7 a.m. and doesn't end until about 11 o'clock at night, and uh, we're very happy to have him. We also this year uh, were one of the, we were the first uh, business organization to support the Clay County Constitution. Uh, we had three members on our on our executive board that were members of the Clay County Constitution Commission. Uh, we led the effort to get the Clay County Constitution passed. Uh, we think that that will help with economic development. That by ending the circus in Clay County government, uh, this will be a, a it'll make our our Clay County government more professional and a place where people want to do business, where they can concentrate on big projects. Uh, things like the big four that we'll talk about in a few minutes. We've had a very successful year. We had the Look North Award, which John Miller got. We had that at Gladstone. We had about 125 or 150 people there. We had the director of the Missouri Department of Economic Development there. It was we did it socially distanced with everybody wearing masks, and it was a, a great time. And John Miller was a worthy recipient. In fact, we're broadcasting right now from iWorks that, that he created in his one of those targeted facilities that we identified in our strategic plan is, is, is something that we think Clay County needs more of. Clay County is booming, as you all know. We've had uh, so many, uh, uh, so many uh, building permits in Kansas City are in Clay County. In fact, the numbers are, there were 1,687 building permits for $172 million. The other three counties in Kansas City totaled only 13, 1,139 uh, housing permits for $151 million. So you can see that 
Clay County is booming. The growth is tremendous. It's not just in Kansas City, north of the river, in Clay County, but Liberty's booming, Kearney's booming. Uh, the entire Clay County is, is developing. And as we always say at the Clay County EDC, the question is not whether Clay County is going to develop. The question is, how's it going to develop? And that's why we, about eight years ago, started the strategic plan to come up with those identified industries, those targeted industries, those targeted facilities that we want to see job growth in, in, in Clay County. And we've had a tremendous year with respect to uh, the, 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 the strategic plan. We identified last year the big four. And the big four, as you know, is 50 new companies and 5,000 new jobs in the targeted industries. And this year alone, we've already had more than 1,000 jobs created. And to give you an example, Ford Motor Company has, has hired more than 500 new people. Uh, and in North Kansas City, Rich Groves has identified more than 400 employees that are all in the targeted industries uh, that, that, that we've identified. And those industries are advanced manufacturing, IT, health, uh, health IT, animal science, bioscience, life science uh, jobs, those types of jobs that we really want to, to, to make sure that people and residents in Clay County have. And so, we, so, the, so that aspect of the big four, the 50 new companies and the 5,000 new jobs is well on its way. And uh, we had a tremendous year, even in the, in the face of this, uh, the coronavirus pandemic when so many businesses were, were really struggling. The KC Tech Academy, which is the, the advanced manufacturing tech academy that's going to ultimately be located in the city of Liberty has been uh, moving forward. We raised over a million dollars in towards the capital project. We have, uh, we're gonna need about $3 million to, 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 to complete phase one. The city of Liberty has been uh, working. Uh, they've been fantastic to deal with. They've given us the ground. They've given us funding. Uh, they've been just a, a completely, uh, uh, just a very critical partner for us in that endeavor. And we couldn't have done it without the city of Liberty. The, 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 the third um, of the big four projects is the relationship between MU and Liberty Hospital and the Missouri Institute of Orthopedics and the idea that we will have more uh, higher education and research components uh, uh, of a higher education facility in, in Clay County. That's working well. That they, they continue to strengthen that alliance between the University of Missouri and Liberty Hospital. And, and uh, there will be big, uh, big announcements and coming soon on that. The final thing that, 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 that we want to announce today on our big four is, as you know, the, the 587 project is the, is the project at 435 and 152. And that's, if, if, you, if, you, if you ever drive by there, that's the, the center of the county. It's green fields, it's ripe for development, it's going to develop. And we wanna make sure that that develops in a, in a really impactful and substantial way. We wanna have this be uh, a jewel in the center of the county, a place where when people come in from Austin or Boston and they're, they're looking uh, to where they wanna live, that they, they, that they wanna live in Clay County because of all the cool things that are in Clay County, all the economic uh, opportunities in Clay County, and that it's just a great place to live. And so, as you know, the 587 project is, our, is one of our big four projects. And the first step in that is, is having a feasibility study. And Heather Hall and Kevin O'Neill have been instrumental in securing $70,000 in funding for the feasibility study. And we're here today to announce that uh, Olson uh, Oshner Hare got the feasibility award, the feasibility contract. And so we are very happy to announce that. We think that it's probably gonna take about six months to develop this feasibility study. It's going to look at all the opportunities, all the amenities, the feasibility of having class A office space, perhaps a digital arena, swimming center, uh, high tech office space, all the amenities related to uh, uh, quality of life that, that we think are important so that kids don't have to go to, to Olathe, kids from Kearney, don't have to play a team with, that has kids on, up from Liberty on it, and they have to go to Olathe or Overland Park to play uh, you know, a soccer game, or they have to go south to play 
uh, to, to any of the amenities that are that are that we see down in south of the river. We want to make Clay County the best place to live in the in the region. We think that we're well on our way. We couldn't be more excited to have Olson Oshner Hare with us to to make that happen. We'll, there'll be more details to follow. You know, we mentioned earlier about the Clay County Constitution and and the Clay County EDC's role in, in, in helping pass that. But we also have two excellent commissioners that were just elected. We have a Western District Commissioner, John Carpenter, and an Eastern District Commissioner, uh, Megan Thompson, that were just elected in November, and they're going to take office in January. And as our custom, we have included them, and they will serve on the Board of Directors uh, as is custom for the Clay County EDC. We think that that they're going to, to do great things with, with, with Clay County. And uh, we love being a partner with Clay County. And uh, they have a big challenge ahead of them to help implement uh, the, the Clay County Constitution. And uh, they'll be working with our own executive board member, Jerry Nolte. Jerry Nolte was one of the first persons in the county to, to sign on and helping us pass that. And uh, so Jerry, as you know, is on our executive board.